guys welcome back to my channel so today I've got a makeup tutorial that's highly requested on my channel um, I had a make this tutorial that I'm gonna do um, I was wearing this makeup in a video and um, a lot of people were like what's a lip color can you do a tutorial I got messages on Instagram asking for me to do that tutorial so here it is it is going to be a all matte tutorial so the whole face is going to be matte, mattified, and it's going to be brown toned. So yeah, anyways, I normally don't wear brown lipstick, not my kind of a thing, but I, you know, for YouTube, I kind of tried it and people like, I love it, I want a tutorial. So here it is, I'm doing this for you guys, so yeah, um, secondly, if you see my nails are really badly painted, it's because I just painted them, so I haven't cleaned it up yet, um, so I will be doing that, so let's ignore that, and my hair is like a bird's nest because I just washed it and it's just like up, once I finish the tutorial I'll fix it, so, alright, all the disclaimers and introduction done, let's move on to the Tutorial. I'm starting off with the Max Factor Face Finity Primer. Um, this is a, it's kind of similar to the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Um, it's white, so I'm just putting that all over my face. I'm double priming today. I'm going with my favorite um, professional by Benefit. I'm going to use this. I'm nearly out of this, but I've got a backup. So that's great. Um, I'm just going to take this and use it just on my nose and where like I'm prone for like I've got bigger pores to smooth out the area. I'm using a synthetic brush to do that. I'm taking that and I'm working it in. To correct my under eyes, I'm using the MAC Studio Conceal and Correct Duo and I'm using the Pure Orange Shade which is a orange colour that is going to count right my darkness. So I'm just patting that on my under my eyes. For foundation, I'm going in with my Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick in the shade 173. Y445 and I'm just swiping that across my face, my nose, my forehead, my upper lip. Then I'm just using a Tarte buffing brush and I'm blending it. For concealer, I'm using the same concealers that I always use because that's the only one that doesn't crease on me. Uh, so these are the MAC Pro Longwear Concealers in the shade NC42 and 45. I'm mixing them together to get my perfect shade and I went out and applied under my eyes. I'm using the Model to Fur Airbrush Concealer Brush and I'm just blending the concealer out. Then to set my under eye concealer, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and I'm using this dark um, highlighting shade. set my entire face I'm using the Benefit Hello Flawless powder in the shade Amber and I'm just using a flat round powder brush flat and round hmm. like round top is what I meant to say I'm just patting the powder moving on to eyebrows I'm just brushing my eyebrows with this spoolie 
Then I'm using the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in the shade Espresso, which is number four. Taking that on an angled eyebrow brush, and I'm just carving out my brows. I'm just taking some banana powder and a small like concealer brush and I'm just putting it underneath the brow to highlight it. On my lids I'm using the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and I'm just putting that on my eyelid. Eyeshadow, I'm using the Kylie Jenner the bronze palette and these are the shades there. I'm using the shade Topaz which is this shade here. I'm that on a Sigma diffuse crease brush and putting that on my crease. And I'm bringing that down to the lid slowly. on to the shade Tiger Eye which is the one shade down from that and it is more of a warm brown matte and I'm putting that on my crease. Slowly bringing that down to the lid. Oh I think the camera cut out while I was filming my eyeshadow bit. So I'm just building matte eyeshadow shades from lighter to darker on my crease and slowly bringing it down to the lid. And now I'm going in with the shade Citrine, which is that color there, the orangey color. And I'm putting that on my crease. Then I'm going in with the shade Hematite with a smaller crease brush. And I'm putting that just on the outer corner. Eyebrow gel, I'm using the Essence Make Me Brow and I'm just going to put that on my eyebrows. For eyeliner, I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, drawing a line on my upper lash line. Then I'm going in with my CoverGirl the Super Size Mascara and I'm just coating some lashes. I'm going to be using falsies today so um, I'm just coating it lightly. For lashes I'm using the Ardell Wispies. This is what they look like. I'm sure you've uh, seen them before. These are my favourite lashes. I'm using the Ardell um, Lash Grip Lash Glue. Just got that in the back of my hand. Waiting for the glue to get tacky. Just drying, I'll contour my face. I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shine Light Contour Palette again, and I'm using the middle and dark contour shades mixed together, and I'm just putting that on my cheekbones. Under my cheekbones, I mean. For blush, I'm using the Art Deco. A bronzing glow blusher and this is a limited edition one this is what it looks like it's absolutely pretty I don't know if you can still find it but I won this in a giveaway and I do really like it so 
Uh, I'm just taking the corally shade and putting that on my cheeks. I'm taking my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara and I'm just putting some on my lashes and my bottom lashes. Taking a pencil brush and taking a dark warm brown shade and running that on my lower lash line. For eyeliner, I'm using the Bare Minerals Round the Clock Midnight Intense Creamy Eyeliner. I'm putting that on my tight line and waterline. And for lips, I'm going in with the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Corvée, which is number 19. It's like a milk chocolate brown. To set everything in place, I'm using the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. That is the finished look. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. It is really nice, simple look. Um, and it's good for like autumn winter time it's really appropriate it's dark but at the same time you can definitely wear it in summer like it's right now it's summer in Australia well Melbourne but it's like raining and gray so you know you can still wear it in summer so yeah I'm really happy with this look and yeah I really like it that's all I have to say about it um, let me know if you want to see any more tutorials. Give me, give me um, requests. Leave any requests down below. Any particular tutorial you want to see and I will do that for you. But yeah, anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.